yesterday morning we took out the 280 and the spies. Um, it was interesting. I mean, we were gapping down a little bit because Netflix was down so much. And people were just, you know, they just steadily bought the open. Um, and as the spies bounced, as Netflix had a large bounce as well. Um, we took out that 280 in the middle of the day, had another leg to about 80 cents. This is the first close above 280 since February 1st when we started to get hammered. Russia unemployment at 4.7. Yeah, it's uh, so we peaked that up here on January 26th, came off a little bit for a few days, and then we, the beginning of the hard down move, um, started with the gap to 280, and it was over a few days later. 252. As I think I mentioned in yesterday's call or Monday, the uptrend starting to catch up to where we are now. Kind of see this channel that I've drawn. And looks like we're going to perhaps spend some time here above 280. Maybe we'll come back, make another higher low over here as the trend's working its way up. And eventually make a new all time high at some point this year. Um, so nothing really catches my attention up at these levels other than taking out of yesterday's high and then a hard down move after getting above the high and then below. Um, and then some sort of close back below 280. That would catch my attention a little bit. On IWM, um, this has just been resting, really. There was some hard selling a couple of days ago where we tested the 166, but since then it just came back up to the um, yesterday morning, touched the 68, and then just moved sideways. So this has just really been resting and spies playing catch up. Um, almost got to the test of the all time high here. Um, the more time we spend between 68 and a half and 67, the better um, in terms of energy for a break. And the last break below here took us to 66. That was pretty good. We broke to the downside again. We looked for the retest of 66. Um, and the close above 68 and a half, we'd start to think about a break through 170. So CBIO, which has already had more than a day's worth of trading in the last hour or so, I've made a few trades in it. Um, this one had been hammered on small biotech stent to, these charts always look like this where they just go up and up and up and they go up to the hundreds or they go down to close to zero. In this case, this guys went down to nine. Um, big news with Steve Cohen, I think, took a position in it, his, uh, his office. Um, then it started to kind of crawl back up and then a couple of days ago, I don't know if people got advanced word of this news, but it got up to $14 and got hammered and then the news came out and was even higher today and they just it completely filled the gap i started watching it around 13 because i was watching initially for it to pull back into 13 to buy it here um, and somebody was selling it so i bought it i hit out and then i used the spikes to short it um, i shorted into this spike and into this spike um, I was actually getting ready for the morning meeting here, so I didn't short into this spike to 12. But every spike has basically been sold. So really the question becomes, is it going to hold this 10, 80, 11? Is this going to be the trading range now? The way that they've been selling it, it does seem like it could potentially break, take out the pre-market low. That's a good volume to hear. Being accumulated for like a week at around 11.30, got as low as 11. And maybe this is Stevie Cohen selling the pre-market. I'm a little bit surprised that it came all the way back down to $11.
Now the sellers seem to have stepped down to 1150. So it looks like we're set up for a test again of 11 on the open. Um, a hold below $11. I and mean, I guess this can go down a little bit further, but um, the risk reward's not as great here. So I'd really want to see someone holding that below 11, selling, selling, selling. Any type of seller that was down here and then lifted, got it back above 11.10, you could see it squeeze right back up to the high 11s. Um, CSX. So CSX, they had really solid numbers. Um, I forget what this nastiness was here, but since since this hard sell off from 60, was accumulated, was trending higher. And it was being bought here between 63 and 64 here, here. It retested this for one day, but got right back up to here. It's being sold a little bit coming into earnings, so you had some people leaning the wrong way. Sold pretty hard coming into earnings. Now the good numbers, it's at the all-time high. I think as long as it's above 66, be focused on the long side. So here's the initial reaction on the good numbers. It got above 66, flagged. Um, now it's holding above 66 and a half. So the way it's acting right now is like a long. Um, it went straight up on the open and came down and didn't support this area here. Um, it actually went through and started to hold below 66. Then I would focus on the, on the short. But until then, focus on the long side. Um, MS, Morgan Stanley, they're on a conference call right now. Um, they had really good numbers, so we want to see what has this been doing the last couple of months coming into numbers. So it sold off from the low 50s down to 46, so about a 10% sell off there. It was even actually higher before that. And the financial sector, remember, got hit the last couple of weeks ago for like it was down 10, 11 days in a row. So that probably came off of the sector. I would think that this stays above this area here with these numbers. So, so far, it's topped out at 5115. Pullback is 50 to 5030. Conference call seems to be going okay. So, I'll flush into this area here, start to look to see if they're bid. Ideally, it would actually just slice through that and go to here and get back about 50-50, and then you'd be in the driver's seat on the long side. Um, remove up to the longer term resistance, which is 51.80 to 52-ish. Um, this is liquid, does 10 million shares a day, um, could easily do 25 million shares. So this is one you can make a bunch of trades in and not have to risk more than 10, 15 cents. Um, try to capture 50 cents to a dollar. The ATR is 90 cents on it. so. Um, certainly could have a range of 50 to 52 today. The next one is UAL. UAL beat and raised.
Definitely a stronger chart than the AL, which we looked at the other day. So it's a bit above 75 right now, which is puts it up in this area here, which it hasn't been since January. So this 75, I mean, it's above 75 right now. I'll be interested to see on the open if it actually gets below this. So it had bottomed out here at 57. So it's about 30% above the full low right now. So, so far, buyers in control first moved to 75. They rejected it there initially, came off a dollar 40, got rejected there again, but they bid close to 75. Um, what I put on the sheet for prices? So 75 and a half, 76. Resistance. I guess this was from the higher time frame. And then for support, conservative is down here. So we'll just watch and see if it um, it holds the 75 bit on the open. That would be bullish. Any type of move below, let's say, 74.70, and then a failure to retake 75, I would I would be shorted just because as good as the numbers were and the guidance, um, it's, uh, it's just what we've seen from the airlines lately. Netflix had a phenomenal bounce yesterday. Um, pretty much after the initial dropout right on the first couple of minutes to 3.45, um, it quite a bit took out our resistance area by 9.40. So we definitely had uh, pretty strong clues that it was going to be strong based on the initial big green bar um, holding about 3.50. Now, the pre-market high at 3.60 did consolidate there for a little bit before taking it out. And it did have a pullback from 65 down to six, almost to 60, like 60, 50. Um, but there was no pullbacks basically then for the next $20 until it, it failed here. And it had a good pullback from there, but that's a, an incredible bounce. I don't think anyone was really expecting it or 10% of the people were expecting it. Um, it kind of bodes well for today, of course. Um, as long as it support somewhere between 75 and 77. I have the same feeling that I did yesterday and once it popped out here, as long as it doesn't pull back below here, um, it can take out the highs today and go to 390 to 400. Let's see where it is right now. Okay, so pulled back to 378. So if this is it, meaning it's not gonna pull back all the way test yesterday's afternoon support, um, what I would look for is a consolidating above 380 before I'd be involved in the long side. I mean, basically in the situation with that type of bounce, they're saying, okay, people are like selling it in the 80s. They're like, we have a chance to get out today at a big bounce. It could go back down to 340, 350. What you'd want to see is when the market opens again, um, one of two things on the bullish case. It's a quick flush down to 375, 376, and it immediately catches a bid. It's above 378. Confirmation is that when it starts to hold above 380, that it's going to be strong again today. Or um, if it doesn't flush down to there, quick pop up here and then holds above 380 and takes out yesterday's high. It's one of those two things. Um, of course, if it goes to 84, 85 and fails there, um, I'm sure people will short it or move back down to 378 to 380. The burden of proof, though, is on the sellers at this point after yesterday's move. Um, OMC. This one opened around 73 yesterday. I had put in a script to buy it um, at the next longer term support area into 70.50, kind of scaling to it into 70. It bounced about a dollar 50 from there, but it rolled over the end of, end of the day with some heavy selling. I'm like, this could be it right here. This could be kind of a low. We should find out in the open. Um, if it gets back above 72 and a quarter, then I would start to look for the bounce. But I, th I could see it spending some time down here between 70 and 72 for a couple of days um, and then breaking in either direction. 
Um, of course, if it takes out yesterday's low and you, the offer's holding below $70, you can look for some downside follow through. Um, J and J was very strong on the open, overshot to the upside. Um, I did buy this pullback here. It popped up and then failed. Um, the rest of the day was accumulated around 129 or so. So this is pretty a very strong day. You can kind of see the big range held up here, 129 ish. Um, for today, um, we want to see. Kind of use this to judge the strength here. So if it comes into 130 again and fails, it gets below 129.50. I could see a deeper pull into 128. Um, if right on the open it pulls into 128, I want to see if it supports there um, and pops back up. It's just a very, it's a big move for it to have to absorb. It could move sideways in this area here for a while between 128 and 130.